Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. Welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from the Lincoln Motorhome and Campervan Show season finale 2023. So let's go and take a look around. Leisure Bit is the way to go with David, Rachel, and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. We pick up our journey approach in the Lincolnshire Showground. And when we arrive at the roundabout, we take a right-hand turn following the signs for people that are staying over and camping. Here we are, we're going to turn left here. This year it's gate number four. Before the event, you receive a pass which you display in the driver's window so that they can direct you appropriately. We were put into queues and we were sent into the right-hand queue down the grass. When you got to the head of the queue, you were then given a bag which had some bits and pieces in, including some hand sanitizer, a show brochure, and some of the rods and ends. We then joined back into the main queue and then made our way around to the camping and caravan enclosed section, which is the area we were staying in at the show. So here we are at the Lincoln Showground on Thursday and we're in the camping and caravanning club area which is just in this field behind me there and there's a number of other areas as we go around. Quite a lot of vans due to come still, you can see some of the markings behind for the next row there. So us pitched up. There are plenty of water points around the field so they're just around the outside and there's one just behind our van which is really convenient to use. A toilet block here, drinking water, health and disposal and showers. I do have to say they are being kept absolutely immaculate. There's waste and recycling just at the entrance here. The track is starting to look a little bit muddy now but still okay. The pitch where we're on is not far from the entertainment venue, which is just over there and over there and uh, down this little track on the way in. There's a really exciting lineup of entertainment for you at this year's show. Thursday night, there's Little Miss Sixties. I heard that live on Friday and it was really, really good. The Moon Dogs. Friday, Heart of Glass, which is a Blondie tribute band. And She Will Rock You, which is a Meatloaf tribute band. Saturday, Susie Quattro, all sold out, but looks amazing, and Shalang Alang. On Sunday, there's Lee Lard and From the Gap. Amazing. They, we can hear them when you walk past on the night. Sounds absolutely epic. There's really good entertainment on for you here. What a change in the weather from yesterday. It's absolutely bucketing down. 
Bright sunshine today. There is the epic center where they're serving food over the weekend. There's electric vehicle charging points here. The area behind is where you can get electrical hookup. There's an extra charge for electric hookup and they do sell out fairly quickly. And already the place is really filling up. Is literally motorhomes, camper vans and caravans as far as the eyes can see. We're on Thursday afternoon at the moment still and they were just setting up for the catering. There was a couple of things open. I decided to grab a coffee. We've got the security entrance just behind us there. There's also police dog training. So the show's open from 9.30 in the morning, which is Friday, and it's open from 9.30 till 5, Friday, Saturday, and 9.30 till 4 on Sunday. After we'd done a little bit of an explore, we then had a wander back to the van, and as you would expect, it started raining, but we did see a rainbow, and there was a lovely sunset. Friday morning. Good morning, it's Friday morning, the sun's come out, it rained quite heavily last night, luckily we just made it in from food, um, but it looks as though that the caravan and camping club are putting people just near the track and the entrance on the way in, hopefully to stop people getting stuck, but it looks nice, the sun's out, let's go and explore. The show opens at 9.30 and it's just after quarter past nine, but it's a reasonable walk across from this field to the showground, so let's get cracking. Dogs are welcome at the show, but aren't allowed in the indoor areas of the marquee. Handy little slide out there. So for the show we paid £73. We'd originally booked the Peterborough show, but ended up changing to the Lincoln show, so we had a change of plans earlier in the year. And so it was £10 administration fee, so £83 in total. Uh, we booked with the Camping and Caravanning Club as it was cheaper um, to stay with them than it was to stay in the general camping area. So I think we saved a fiver. We'll have a look around the show now. Some of the clips are from Friday morning, Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. There's plenty of accessories on display and some good bargains too if you hunt them out. Oh lovely, another coffee stand. We were in the show fairly early on both Friday morning and Saturday morning. It did get very busy later on.
Rachel's going to have a look around this tiny house now. tiny house I've got to say it is fantastic you go up the stairs and there's a double bed upstairs there's also a bed down here um, and a little bathroom in the living room I like There's some lovely gifts and things in the marquee. selection of bikes. Well Roxy's found a stall that she likes here. <laughs> Joined the uh, Motor Caravanners Club and got free pack. How about that? There's a good selection of camper vans and motorhomes, as well as a good range of accessories here. It's quite a big show, um, so proportional to the number of vans that are here. So, being a Yorkshire person, I have found the cheapest motorhome that I can, or I think that is currently at the show. It's currently 28 dollars Let's go and have a look and see what 28,000 gets you for your money. I do like Bessie cars. So as soon as we come through the back door, there's your fridge, a sink, some big units up the top, and a full-size cooker. Directly opposite us, there's a door which I presume is the washroom. Yeah, I'm correct. It's actually quite big in there. Big cupboard here on the left-hand side. Big lockers up the top here. There's a wardrobe on the right hand side. Bench seats either side. And the two swivelling chairs and the standard Fiat cab. For 20, just under £29,000, you actually do get quite a bit of fun for your money. Got a second hand Solaris XL here. Quick look at that. Wild Axe, 64995. One on the 21 here at 64995. Automatic there. A little bit of a look. Right there. Got a van here at 28999. Let's have a quick look and see what we get for that money. We've got uh, VW front cab, rock and roll bed, a little kitchen there, it's on the 14 plate, under 30 grand. Yeah. Wild Axe Constellation 3 here, got the uh, leather trim, a little bit of a look in there. And the Citroen cab, love that nice wide entrance there, as the actress said to the bishop. Yeah. And then we've got a a VW, 
quick look in that. It's just shy of £50,000 for this one. Look in the cab there. 49999 You get a quid back from £50,000. So this one's the Rymar or Rimmer. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's got a front lounge on the new Fiat cab. And a rear bed that folds back. Quite handy that if you want to uh, transport things. This one's up for 56495, new CV20 there. Let's see what that's coming in at. It's coming in at 61689. Got a van on a sprint chassis here, 49995. Quick look inside the uh, sprinter cab there. The nice lounge at the rear. Quick look from the back. Handy place to store the table there. 50,000 for an Equinox. This camper van's from Orange Campers. It's 55,999, so just under 56,000. It's got a beautiful teal pop-up top and decals on the side. We just have a look in. We've got the two seats at the front. It actually feels quite spacious in this area. There's quite a lot of floor space there. Fabric rack and roll bed. Little two hot burner there. And your sink. Got the Wild Axe on a man chassis here. 94995. This is what that gets you. Quick look there. Nice uh, U-shaped lounge at the rear. Nice front area, induction cooking, nice washroom as well. 94995 for that one on the man chassis. Five pound for a sausage bun. Just one sausage. some of these uh, churros. Give it a try. Mmm, very nice. You do something wonderful. Well, we really enjoyed our food there from the banana leaf. If you come to the show for nothing else, come here for the food from the banana leaf. It is amazing. In fact, it's that amazing. We've had it twice now. Highly recommended. All crispy, just how you like it. There you go. On. This one we're having a double decker. Let's see how this compares to McDonald's. Let's give it a try. Hmm. It's really nice. How does it compare to your five pound sausage bun yesterday? Well, for a fiver here, so these were two for a fiver, the packs of four, uh, Tesco's finest and the muffins, I think were about a pound. So to do four of these, it's about three pound fifty. So it is just no comparison, is there? But I had to cook it and I had to use gas as well. So let's say we use 50 pence worth of gas. Four pound for four pound each. Not bad, eh? So Rachel, what have you thought of the Lincoln Motorhome and Campervan Show season finale, September 2023? Boy, I've had a good time. My feet hurt, we've done some walking. There's been so much to see, some gorgeous people to meet.
we've bought a few bits and bobs as well but not too much and had some lovely food albeit quite expensive had a great time what about you yeah, it's been nice. Uh, it's been nice to look around. There's a reasonable selection of accessories, not quite as many electrical stalls as I would have liked, uh, but probably enough for most people. Good range of uh, camper vans and motorhomes, and it's really great, certainly from my perspective, to see the prices starting to come down a little bit now. It was shocking before when you were seeing screen prices starting with a 7 or an 8 or a 9. And there's very few of them now. They always seem to be starting with a four or five or a six, which is fantastic news, certainly for the buyer. Nice to see it normalising a little bit now. Obviously not great if you're trying to sell a van, because um, it looked like, uh, I noticed everyone was desperate for vans, but there's a few signs up saying being more selective about what they were taking on. So yeah, it's been good. It, it's now Saturday and given we've had a good look around given we've accomplished everything we wanted to do and bought what we needed to buy we're actually going to head off a little bit early and go and explore the peak district so join us next time for that thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it and catch you on the next one bye, bye.